An alternator takes the mechanical energy generated by the rotation of the engine and the movement of the drive belt and converts it into electrical energy. The alternator recharges the battery and acts as the main power supply for the entire vehicle when the engine is running. The three-wire alternator, as the name implies, needs three wires to function. When you're dealing with a direct replacement, the process is extremely simple. Memorize the position of the plugs, disconnect them, and then reconnect the new alternator. To connect a three-wire alternator without a previous reference to go by or compatible plugs, you'll have to follow these steps. 1. Identify the three connection points on the alternator. The bottom connection is a bolt for the O-ring wire connector to sit on. On the top, Terminal 1 and Terminal 2 are positioned next to each other and accept small plugs. 2. Place the O-ring of the positive battery wire on the bolt. Every car should have one by default regardless of the alternator type. 3. Get a short piece of wire with an adequate terminal plug on one end and an O-ring on the other. Plug the wire into Terminal 2 and place the O-ring side over the bolt after the red wire. 4. Tighten the bolt with a nut to connect the two O-rings with the alternator. 5. Terminal 1 should be connected to the Gen, Battery, or Alt dashboard light. On the cars that don't have it, you'll wire a dummy light between Terminal 1 and the on position of the ignition switch. Now let's talk about what each of the steps does. The identification process is important as you don't want to get them confused. The positive lead is the thick red wire with the O-ring. It goes to the battery, with or without passing through a junction block and intersection for cables, and delivers power. Terminal 2 connects to the positive lead and forms a small circuit. I'm not sure what exactly it does, but you can read the one-letter code marking the terminal and check online. Terminal 1 connects to a dashboard light, a diode, or a LED light. It's often called the dummy light as it doesn't have a practical purpose in the sense of illumination. The wire goes through the diode and connects to the on position of the ignition switch. When you turn the ignition to the on position, the diode will light up and the alternator field gets excited, hence the name. When you flip it back off, the diode will turn off and not leach battery power. The diode itself prevents two-way current flow. Once the key is released, the alternator will run and it will be able to shut off when the key goes to the off position. Why does the alternator have three wires? The three-wire alternator detects the voltage at the fuse block and the ignition, so it can regulate the charge and adjust it when necessary. It's an improvement over the one-wire alternator and can be retrofitted into older vehicles through the steps explained in the previous section. What are the three wires for my alternator? The first wire is the largest in diameter and painted red, the positive battery wire, which leads to the battery through a wire junction or directly. The second and third wires are next to each other and are called terminal wires. The terminal 2 wire is the voltage sensing wire, while the terminal 1 wire is the exciter slash ignition input wire. What's a three pin alternator? The three pin alternator is a synonym for the three wire alternator we've been discussing in this article. Even though it's called a three pin alternator, the battery positive wire is screwed on the alternator wire post rather than plugged in. What brand of the alternator is the best? Considering how affordable, reliable, and widely spread they are, we consider the AC Delco alternators as the best brand in the business. We've recently covered the top six alternator options, so take a look if you'd like to see what the other great options are. How many wires go to an alternator? The three-wire alternator technically has two wires going to and from it, the exciter wire and the positive battery wire. The sensing wire is looped from the alternator's terminal tube to the positive battery wire post on the alternator. Can I run a wire from the alternator to the battery? You're supposed to run the positive battery wire from the alternator to the battery, so that the alternator can supply the battery and the engine with electric power while the battery recharges. To summarize what we talked about in this video, the three-wire alternator follows a simple diagram, but unless you know exactly what you're doing, you can cause some serious electrical issues. I suggest doing the job with an assistance of a friend, just to make sure you get everything connected correctly. The job itself isn't particularly difficult. You just need to route the wires correctly, and you're set. I hope this video helped, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and follow so you don't miss any of my videos.